We'll make a video of you folks of it for you. And we will bring it home and we'll show it to you. And we'll use two cameras. One camera will be facing the audience so you can have the joy of hearing and seeing them laugh. It makes you feel good. And the other one will be facing uh, the joke telling. Teacher, Johnny, I think you cheated on the test. I think you copied the answers of the girl sitting at the aisle across from you. The first question was, who was first president of the United States? She wrote Washington and you wrote Washington. And the second question was, who was the president of the United States during the Civil War? She wrote Lincoln and you wrote Lincoln. And the third question was, who was president of the United States during the Louisiana Purchase? She wrote, I don't know, and you wrote, me neither. My nephew told me who that president was during the Louisiana Purchase. It was Jefferson. Isn't he smart? This man, folks, was very close to dying. And everybody knew he had only a few hours left. However, he was at home. And his wife baked a batch of cookies. He leaned over and he took one. And she said, don't eat those. I need them for the funeral. The little girl was noisy in church. And her mother whispered something in her ear. And the girl calmed right down. Stayed nice and quiet to the end of the service. And after the service, somebody asked her, what did you whisper in your daughter's ear? The mother says, I told her, if you make a noise, the minister is going to lose his place and have to start the sermon all over again. That would stop just about everybody, wouldn't it? The uh, Pentecostal minister was very enthusiastic. He says, I'm going to take all of the beer in this town and I'm going to pour it into the river. And the next hymn, on the order of worship, the next hymn was, and we'll all gather at the river. A man was a dedicated fan, enthusiast, for the composer Beethoven. So he went to the great composer's grave, and he's standing there, and he hears all these Beethoven symphonies being played coming out of the ground. But There goes the ambulance. A prayer for you people who called the ambulance, for the ambulance crew, and for the animals. So the man is listening to all these Beethoven symphonies coming out of the ground. But they are being played backwards. And they are being played in the reverse order in which they were written. Beethoven's ninth, Beethoven's eighth, Beethoven's seventh, Beethoven's sixth all the way down to Beethoven's first symphony. And the man says to the grave digger, I don't get it. I'm trying to hear these Beethoven symphonies. They're all being played backward. They're all being played in the reverse order in which they were written. And the grave digger said, don't you get it? He's decomposing. The bank robber said to the bank teller, 
one peep out of you and your geography. <laughs> and she said, well, don't you mean history? He said, don't change the subject. Daddy, what causes rain? Low pressure areas, cold fronts, and the first day of your vacation. A little boy and a little girl, brother and sister, are in the living room all alone watching a uh, video on the nativity, the birth of Christ. And the little boy says to his older sister, what is a virgin? And the older sister says, a virgin? is a woman who eats all of her vegetables. An earthquake in California was reported to be on the way. The couple sent their young son deep into the interior where he would be safe with an uncle. In two days, they got an email from the uncle. I'm returning the boy, send the earthquake. A picketer had a sign that said, time heals all wounds. The picketer behind him had a sign that said, time and a half heals them faster. A dog, what? A dog was asked, are you bilingual? And he said, whoop, meow. A woman at the bridge table said, when I'm down in the dumps, I get clothes. And the woman at the bridge table next to that one said, I was wondering where she got them. And that's a meow also. A camping party was hopelessly lost in the northern woods of Maine. Hopelessly lost in the northern woods of Maine. And they wandered around for a long time. Finally, one of them got up enough courage to say to the guide, you told us you were the best guide in the state of Maine. He said, hey, yeah, I am. But right now, I think we're in Canada. Why did the bunny rabbit ask to be changed into a goon within the next 24 hours? Why did the bunny rabbit ask to be changed into a goon within the next 24 hours? So he could be here today and goon tomorrow. The little boy was late for school, folks, and he was hurrying as fast as he could, and he made a shortcut underneath the barbed wire fence and the barbed wire fence caught his pants and made a tear. He gets to school. The teacher says, I see you're a little behind. He says, yeah, it was the barbed wire fence. The teacher said, draw a sign of the nativity, the birth of Christ. 
and a little girl brought her picture to the teacher's desk and the teacher says oh this is terrific oh there's Jesus there's Mary there's Joseph what's this little table with a box on top of it here in the corner and the little girl says that's their computer I asked a friend to come over and help me and he said he couldn't there was a death in the family who died the computer the doctor says to the patient you take one of these pills every day and you walk a mile a day and you call me at the end of the month at the end of the month the patient calls and says hey doc what do I do now I'm out of pills and 30 miles from home and the doctor said to his patient I have bad news and very bad news the patient said what's the bad news shaking all over and the doctor says you have two days to live well what's the very bad news the doctor says I forgot to tell you yesterday breathe on us breath of God so we will be alert and live with you the perfect life and never harm